Nike gets the Easter spirit, a Jordan hybrid hits the web, and Adidas, well, they're very, very happy. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. Starting off with Jordan brand, we have the 61723. The hybrid shoe has been seen in some really great colorways over the years, and come April, we'll get some of that infrared love that's been going around. You can see it here the most on the speckled midsole, as well as on the heel and on the heel pool. The rest of the shoe is white leather, leaving black as a secondary color. Look for these on April 5th for $150 at select locations such as Noble. Now, for those of you that follow me on Twitter and or Instagram, you know that I am a big golf fan, and today, Nike Golf announced a Masters collection. Now, all three of these were actually released today. The Lunar Clayton, which is the one that looks like a dress shoe, the Lunar Control, and the Nike TW14 for Tiger Woods. All three are based in premium white uppers with green accents to highlight the first major of the year. Now, the Clayton will cost you $250, the Control is $160, and the Tiger Woods 14 or TW14 is $180. Now, if you are a fan of Nike SBs and Eddie Huang, well, the next kicks I talk about just might be for you. Inspired by Bao, I hope I'm saying it right, the traditional Chinese bun treats in Eddie Huang's restaurant, which I hope I'm saying right, Bao Haas, the Nike SB Dunk High features an unfinished premium suede upper in beige with an icy blue outsole. The white laces and tongue make this a pretty bright pair of kicks, though they look really great based on these pictures here from Hypebeast. You can look for these to release on April 1st as a GR at Nike SB retailers. And finally, Nike Basketball gets into the Easter spirit with a special collection of shoes for Kobe, KD, and LeBron. All three pairs are in a springtime mood with heavy use of green over the uppers. The Kobe 9 EM goes for a swirly type effect, I guess you can call it, with the green, while the KD 6 goes into an urban warfare with a springtime camo effect. For the LeBron 11, this is the first time we get to see an official look at the low, which looks great, by the way, with that full length max airbag and zonal articulation for optimal flexibility and breathability. You can look for all three of these to release at Nike Basketball Retailers on April 18th. And before I get out of here, some of the big news that hit the web today also about sneakers is that Pharrell signed with Adidas. This seems to be a pretty big deal. A lot of the sneaker bloggers are really going crazy about this, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Pharrell signing with Adidas? Is it a big deal or not? Let me know down in the comments. Also, before you go, uh, I shot two videos yesterday. One with the Nike Air Max One, uh, their package, the big bubble thing, so you guys get to see that packaging. And also uh, got to preview some of the Jordan 2014, well, August 2014, the Sports Blue Collection with the 3, the 6, and the 14. So make sure you check both of those out. I'll put links down in the description. Well, if you haven't already, why don't you subscribe and also visit the links down in the description because it'll give you the full story of everything that I talked about today. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. As always, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace.